Like what is, what's yeah. the difference between us being parents now and parents back yeah. then? You find a big difference? Just to Michaela. You were really busy when Michaela was first born. Hey guys, Sarah here and Aaron. <laughs> it's Saturday, so welcome to our vlog. We're gonna start the vlog off with a bang. I showed you guys this in yesterday's video. I was in the store and I was really, really starving and I had to pick up something. And now we're gonna have Aaron try it because his reaction to these kind of things has <laughs> been really funny. <laughs> Eat the whole thing? Yeah. yeah. How is what it? What do you think? So we kept trying it. It tastes and we're like, like an artificial coconut flavor. Doesn't it? Yeah. We kept trying it and we're like, huh, let's try another one. Hmm. It's it's not, let's try another one to see if like a flavor of some kind will come out. And no matter how many you eat, it stays bland the entire time. It actually doesn't even taste like coconut, which is weird. It smells a lot like If you like lick it, then. Yeah, it has such a strong smell. I, it felt, it yeah. feels like you're eating bark. What is this? Like, I don't know what name Elan? this is. Elan, Eran. I'm not sure what name Elan. brand that Elan. is. But it's organic, mm. so it's healthy. It does have iron in it. It's Elan. But I really just don't know. Yeah, it was not tasty. What was your reaction yesterday? I literally just kept eating it, trying to get more flavor out of it. And the texture itself isn't bad, but... My neighbor is busy cutting stuff. Yeah. A cat and two rats are trying on hats, but not the hippopotamus. Uh, a moose and a goose together have juice, go, 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 go. but not the hippopotamus. No. A bear and a hare have been to a fair. What are those? What are those? Yeah. Balloons. What is he eating? Yeah. Ice cream. But not the hippopotamus. Hey guys, we are back home. I didn't realize how dark it was in here before and how bright these pot lights really are. Yeah, they're pretty bright. They're yeah. really bright. Yeah. That Were we reading in the dark? I guess not really. Yeah. Was, was that like very reminiscent for you, like reading to her? Um, like it in compar comparing with the girls? Yeah. We used to read to the girls all the time when they were babies. Yeah. I guess at this age it's a little different because, but you know, with the other girls, mm -hmm. I remember reading a lot to, you know, to all three of them. Yeah. Oh, or two all, of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But and, and it's that, hard to remember reading as much just to Michaela. You do? No? I don't remember it. It's really just to Michaela. You were really busy when Michaela was first born. Yeah. You didn't read to her as, like, as much. As much. But then we, I think the, the, the real change took place when we, bought, when we bought that book. When yeah. we found that book at a garage sale, How to Raise Brighter Kids. And then we started realizing how important teaching them to read was. And that's when we were like, oh, okay, we gotta read them all the time and we gotta yeah. buy books. And that's when it all took off. So then it kind of went out from there, right? Yeah, that's right. What, the funny, the, the thing is like, what's, what's it like right now for you being father to Zoe? I think I asked something like that once at the beginning, but I, I, the question is more like, what is, what's the difference between us being parents now and parents back then? You find a big difference? Yeah, like I think I was a little bit more stressed back then. Yeah. I think we're a lot, <laughs> a, a lot, a lot more of everything. Stressed, immature, really young. Like yeah, like Zoe getting chocolate milk on her shirt. I don't really care. <laughs> oh no, yeah, I right. Used to yeah, freak out. He was like he freaked out about like the dumbest stuff back in the day. Like we would buy like, a pair of I don't know why we would even do this. Why would we buy the kids white anything? That was not very smart. Well, we did. We bought a lot of white stuff, so. We did. We bought, like, white pants, and I remember Michaela wearing white pants one time, that very first time, and got chocolate milk on it. And you got, and you were upset. Yeah, you got upset. You were upset. I'm like, it was like the first time she was wearing it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm just like, 
Oh. So what? It's not a big thing. It's not even so what, but I'm just like, I don't care that hard about stuff. Hey guys, so this is the next day. It's actually like two days later, but we didn't post the video yesterday, if you guys would have noticed, because, I don't know, I just... I'm just trying to figure things out and I did leave it but I did leave you guys a message on the community tab um, as far as what Aaron and I were talking about having kids in our 20s versus our 30s it we were the camera cut out on us so we didn't get to finish our conversation I don't know we were just talking about just how different it is now and at bare at both stages we definitely enjoyed our kids but it's just at a different place where you feel like you can provide a little bit more um, especially raising them in our own home that we bought um, I and I know this does not go for everyone and like I always say whatever I say pertains to myself it's not throwing judgment at anyone else like you know we are all in our own different places in life and we all have our own different things that we really desire but a part of one of the things we desired was to own our own home and back then when we were young in our 20s we couldn't do that but we always made the best with what we had um you know just making trying to do our best to be good parents and have our kids enjoy life every ounce of any little money that we had i remember yeah any little money that we had we always took it and poured it into our kids um they were always in dance and ballet and jazz and soccer and swimming and all these things so it's not like they were deprived and it came at a cost. I'll go into that in a different um, video because this video will take entirely too long to explain what I'm trying to say. But long story short, in our 30s, now that we have, you know, Aaron's got his career, we've got our home, and, you know, we just, I'm, almost, I'm pretty much done my degree. I'm a credit away from being done. It's just a whole different ball game. Like, you're just, I guess you're grown up. We're, we're now grown up and we're not like just the young young parents trying to figure it all out um we have more a little bit more time i would say despite work life and how busy things always is it's i guess the the, the in terms of trying to when we were younger it was like a hustle it was a you know juggle trying to finish school and um i don't know i guess it's kind of similar but school is that much harder because it just doesn't turn off when you go home. You have to study then too. Whereas in work, you can go to work and come home and kind of just relax. So there are definitely some big changes. Um, and also with regards to the kids, just like enjoying them even more now and just kind of wishing time would slow down a little bit. And just because we now see how fast they grow and that part is just like so nerve-wracking like even for zoe i'm just like slow down and as much as i want her to slow down she's growing so fast so like we're just trying to savor the moment and enjoy it as it comes and just you know do our best to do all that we can for our kids and our family to enjoy life so anyways guys that is pretty much it for today's video leave a comment down below if you understand what i mean if you are a young parent who just i don't know if you've been a young parent young family and then you've suddenly be had more kids later on in life it's a very different thing for us because we never you know it's two completely different stages so there there definitely are some differences for sure um, but I'd love to hear from you guys if that's if that's occurred to you what, what are the differences for you um anyways guys that is it for today's video stay tuned for my video next upcoming video I do have a big announcement that I have um I want to make for you guys so you guys can um just be on the lookout for that video also don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so you guys can see when we're uploading because the views aren't there i noticed that a lot of you guys aren't either it's either you guys don't want to watch certain things or also that your notification bells are off so definitely um turn them on so you guys can get notified when we upload thanks for watching guys and much love hi guys thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to join the tribe Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>